Hello, everyone. Let's see. Let me make sure I turned off the sound. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday, April 8th. It, um, it's a great day. It's actually one of my angel's birthday today. And if you see Terry Thompson out there, uh, please say happy birthday to her. It's a special day. And um, how many of us are actually uh, watching or following the eclipse? I haven't. So that's probably something we'll talk about it later. But uh, welcome to our conversation today. Michael and I always getting together on Monday. Uh, we're talking about on passive. Um, this is uh, Julie. I'm actually coming from California and in the US and Michael here is from Canada and and excited to, to always get together and uh, talk about on passive. Hello, Michael. Would you like to say hello to everyone? Hello, Julie, and hello to everyone out there. Happy Monday. Happy fantastic Monday. And don't worry about the eclipse. <laughs> 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 That's right. That's right. Um, so everyone, I, I wonder if you had had a chance to take a look at our website um, on passive.com. It's a beautiful um, version that just came out last night. So if you haven't done so, um, please, you know, take a look at that. So today, um, Michael and I get together and talk about on passive, get ready, get set. Um, personally, I doubt that we can find anyone in the world, Michael, even the best one, uh, could wake up in the morning and snap his or her fingers and then evolve their business or their organization in an instant. Because I know that every single organization needed to have some sort of planning and condition their work and kind of like seasoning it and then continue to work on their plan in order for them to execute it successfully, um, right? In, in order to have a, a, a almost organized business or, you know, work with the plan. And so today I thought we go in, in this route of getting ready and, and get set. Agree, Michael? Have you ever seen anyone that actually woke up one day and uh, snap their finger and say, oh, I have a business. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> uh, no, um, not, in, not in business and not in life uh, either, uh, Julie. There's so many things that we have to plan for. There's so many things that we have to train for. So many things we have to be prepared for, you know, um, like so many things. I mean, hey, a person can get up today and say, hey, let's go get married, <laughs> right? <laughs> they could. <laughs> But that's not what most people do, right? You know, most people plan sometimes as, you know, six months to a year of planning the wedding and all of that stuff, right? Um, you know, so there, there's lots of things in life. Uh, and if you examine, you know, in all areas, right, um, you'll see that it all takes time. You know, there's usually some time element uh, that is there. So, no, I'm not aware of any business uh, that kind of came out or any solid business anyways, you know. We know people can slap something together and call it a business, but you know it's not really a business. But if we look at any true, authentic uh, business that is out there, uh, it took some time. You know, um, whether it be a webinar platform that may have taken four or five years for them to come to the market. Um, you know, whether it be uh, you know cars. You know, what I mean, airplanes. Uh, they didn't just pop up and say, "Hey, here you go. Let's, you know, we're good to go." Um, you know, in life, uh, things uh, do take time. Um, and then those who are patient enough uh, to wait for it, to manifest, wait for it to come to fruition, uh, you know, those are the ones that usually tend to be rewarded. Um, you know, and so here we are, uh, that uh, on passive is no different. Absolutely, Michael. Uh, what we have been uh, observing and seeing so far, um, you know, we always starting with building that foundation. And, and I believe that foundation is the vision where we want to see, you know, our company, right, on passive. And, and it's something that personally, uh, I will have to work on my, my, myself, my visions of the goal of where I'm going as well. But let, let's take a look at on passive. It's, it started with the vision when Mr. Ash Mufara 
you know, release those two audios and talking a little bit about what his, what is he feeling? What's, what he, what his vision is, right? And then you also have to, um, looking at what kind of environment do you want to create as a CEO of the company? That's how I, I, I see you, you have to create that environment. What kind of cultures you want to building your business and then you also gathering the team together to be able to have that that carry out that vision and the team that has the same vision as you are right um that's only just the very first part but when you're talking about having the ability to build this gigantic company globally you have to talk big about you, you know, you actually not talk, but you got to think about the financial part of it. Do we have the financial strength? Do we have that sufficient fund or reserve fund for the un unexpected things that are happening? Um, as we can also see that as a brick and motor company, uh, Michael, we need to have a locations and that not just any location. It has to be a location of where, how we see our company. There are so many things that has been happening in our company um, and it has been going great so far, Michael. But the th one thing of it, we didn't, we get to see it, but we did not experience it like our team, like our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara. Uh, yeah, of course we have not uh, experienced it from, from that uh, point of view, but we certainly, uh, been experiencing the journey to see, you know, you know, what's the latest, what is next, you know, um, what have we accomplished, right? We've certainly been able to see all of that, uh, Julie, because, I mean, just think about it, starting from scratch with nothing, right? Um, and then you see everything starts to unfold right before your eyes. Uh, it, it's a thing of beauty, you know, it, it's like going through the seasons, right? You're coming out of winter and you're coming into spring, and you start to see flowers blooming and, you know, it, it's just a different atmosphere, right? The environment is different, you know? So uh, we've seen the changes that our company has gone through, right? We've seen, you know, when there wasn't a name, we've seen when, okay, here's our first office location. Uh, you know, we've seen all the pieces coming together, uh, Julie. And, you know, when you're trying to build something of, of this magnitude, right? It's very, very important that you said earlier about laying that foundation. Right. Can you imagine that you're the one that set out to construct uh, the Burj Khalifa, right? Such a giant uh, structure, right? And you decided to just, you know, put the foundation in really, really quick. And you're going to have something so tall, right? <laughs> I mean, just think about, you know, wind, you know, could impact it, right? You know, the environment could impact it. Um, so you have to make sure that foundation is solid. Right. Think of any, you know, a, a 30 story building. Uh, you, you understand me? Even your home, for that matter, Julie, like, why would you want a home with a sloppy foundation that a little bit of little wind comes, you know, 20 miles an hour wind come along, which is not much and blows your house over. Right. You want it to be able to withstand 100 miles uh, per hour. And, and all of that is attributed to the foundation. If the foundation isn't solid, you know what I mean? then what you have is going to topple over. And that's not what we're looking for. All of us came into on passive looking for longevity, looking to find a home whereby we're going to be here five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, right? We talk about from one generation to the next generation. That's what we're looking for. So we certainly don't mind the time that it takes to lay that foundation, Julie, and then start to put the pieces on top of it so that when it's a finished product and we're out there to the marketplace, uh, then we know that we have something that's going to stand the test of time. That's exactly what we want. We want to be able to stand any scrutiny from any agencies, any countries, any government, all of that, Julie, all of that takes time to come together because it's not just about one particular country, right? It's not about 10 countries, but it's about the world, over 200 countries uh, that on passive is able to um, put itself in, in front of all these people, 8 billion people around the world. That is something, Julie, that takes time. And we're so glad that right now we're in that ready, set phase. And we know what comes after set, right? Yep. Yep, absolutely. And talking about it, we love uh, talking about food sometime. You know, when we are creating a plate, a beautiful plate, we got to gather all the ingredients, the basic ingredients, the things that we can't have something where where we're missing, you know, certain ingredients, we're probably not going to come to the plate that we wanted. Uh, and so it is so important.
for all of us, you know, um, in terms of now on passive is one thing, but now we're looking at our own personal business, right? Are we getting ourselves ready, right? Are we getting ourselves ready with on passive? Because when on passive, that complete, that C, that, that from Catmo, the complete automatic, the complete system, when it's ready, what are we going to do as as our, as uh, you know, being an ambassador, being an affiliate, are we getting ourselves ready? And those are the things that I ask myself. You know, those are the things that I always share that with other. Are we ready for unpassive? Well, I'm ready, Julie. Right? <laughs> I don't know about you, uh, but I'm ready. Uh, you know, uh, because again, this is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've been hoping for. This is what we've been praying for. This is what we've been looking for, right? Is to have a business such as this. And I'm sure none of us have been involved in a business like this before because everything else um, before on passive, you know, it, it, again, a lot of me too stuff, uh, Julie, right? Uh, and, and the opportunities where you actually got a chance to participate in it, you know, it's, it's night and day, right? It's night and day. There's so much that you personally had to do to make it work, to make it happen for yourself and your family. Um, you know, whereas on passive saying, we got you, we got you covered. We're doing all the heavy lifting for you. We will take care of everything, right? We will go out there and we will put together the products that are needed in the marketplace. We will make sure that these products are over delivering uh, when it comes to value to the public. Right. We're going to put together a system uh, that's going to be automated, that's going to have the latest artificial intelligence technology, right? All infused uh, within the system, within the products, all of that. Julie. The company says we're going to do all of that. We're going to take care of the branding. We're going to make sure the world knows your name. Right. We're going to take care of the market and the advertising. We're putting this all together and all you have to do, just come along for the journey. Right. That is a beautiful thing, Julie. And there isn't uh, another company that I can think of that's out there um, that have done that for others, right? Or willing to do that uh, for others, you know? And so when we come together, we can't be anything short of excitement where Unpassive is concerned. We're always excited about Unpassive. We're always ready for Unpassive, right? We, we have been in ready mode, right? And we continue to be uh, knowing what is to come, right? And so, like you said, when we have that complete package, Okay, then it's game over as far as I'm concerned at that point, right? But yes, we still have to make sure that everything checked all the boxes. All the I's have to be dotted, all the T's have to be crossed. And then we can say, here you go. We're ready to deliver to the world, you know, and on passive will deliver. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I and Michael, I am absolutely ready, right? I'm absolutely ready. And now that um, now that we're sitting here talking about the the the, the get ready. Now we're gonna come to the get set. To me, get set is it's truly a putting everything together. The integration time, and integration time, um, I, I believe it's a it's the most critical time because you build that foundation, you build what needs to be put on that foundation. You need to integrate them. You need to put them together. You need to test them. You know, you need to go through testing. You got to go gather feedbacks. It needs to, uh, all the tools, uh, all the applications going well together. Are, are they working interconnected with each other? Like the way we intend it to be, uh, are the tools and the applications delivering the result that we want that meeting our goals and i i it's a it's a very important and very critical time as well michael as a get set stage in a business yeah absolutely um you know again it, it really comes back to you know what are people actually looking for julie what do they want right both from affiliates as well as users right customers right what do they actually want you know, and so if you can deliver that, deliver that to the public, give people the opportunity to be able to participate in something whereby they will be able to win, right? Give customers, you know, the ability to purchase products that they're going to succeed with, right? You have a business and you need to, um, you know, improve it. You want to grow it. You want to enhance your business. Okay. Well, on passive will provide the latest technology to help you do just that, right? To be able to manage your business. Um, you know, 
to get the word out there about your business because a lot of companies struggle with advertising, right? A lot of companies struggle with that. That's just one piece of the puzzle uh, that will be solved for them with it on passive, right? Um, we're talking about automation, right? Having companies being able to automate, uh, especially some of the tedious work that they do, you know, um, taking care of the human resource, uh, you know, system, right? Being able to how to manage their employees. There is so much that goes into this, Julie, right? And so, yes, you have to uh, get ready and you have to get set as far as being able to integrate all the different pieces together. You have to infuse everything together. You have to make everything seamless. One-stop shop, people come in, everything that they need is there, you know, at their fingertips, right? They don't need to go looking over here to the right or to the left, right? Everything is right there, right before them. And that's what's going to help them save time. And of course, because you're providing values with these products, it's going to help them save money, right? Which company is going to refuse saving time and saving money? I can't think of any, right? So that's a good thing. And then you have the individuals, Julie, you know, people are looking um, away ways to enhance their uh, income, right? So they come in, they become an affiliate uh, with the company, right? They're able to now resell uh, the company's products and they're able to use the same process, Julie, right? To do just that. The same process that the company is using for itself, they'll be able to use it for, for uh, their individual selves as well, right? So it's a complete win-win, right? That's what OnPassive is putting together, right? And so we know, uh, Julie, that it's a done deal. We've heard that said, you know, time and time again, right? So that's been reinforced in us, right? For those who actually can see it, right? For those who actually have the vision to understand what our CEO has spoken about so many times and start to see it being delivered in front of our eyes. Take O Connect, for example, right? Uh, when we first got O Connect, uh, compare that to where we are right now with O Connect, right? You understand? So that's what we're talking about being able to see the real progress. Of course, for some reason, some people think we don't have any products, Julia. I'm not sure where that comes from. All they have to do is to get a free account, right? Set up a free OES uh, account, right? And they'll be able to see for themselves. They'll be able to see the free products and they'll be able to see the first paid product. And they'll be able to use it, not just see it, but actually use it. And so now you can confirm for yourself that, oh, okay, yeah, it is real. You know, it is real. Um, and, and you know, the, 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 um, the features, Julie, right? The features uh, that we find within O-Connect, right? Or, or a webinar, uh, video, audio uh, conference and platform. Like, it's just amazing. Again, we've used other platforms, right? I mean, we're using one right now, right? Um, you know, so, you know, we're familiar with what's out there in the marketplace. You know, a lot of people have used Skype, people have used GoToWebinar, uh, people have used Zoom, you know, so you will have something to be able to compare to, right? So you'll be able to judge for yourself, hey, is this thing worth, you know, all the hype, Let, let's call it that, right? Is, is this thing worth what everyone's been saying about it? And the answer is absolutely yes, right? More than so, I believe the company has already over-delivered even where we are right now, Julie, and it's going to get better. It's going to get better. They, they will continue to improve upon it, right? So think about that for such a young company and to be able to have a product such as this. Think of where we'll be a year from now just with O-Connect alone. And we know other products are coming down the pipeline, Julie, right? So yeah, we're definitely in set mode as well. Yeah, you know, when people are talking about their, the, they don't see the product, I think the 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 nowadays when people talk about product when you refer something about product they tend to think like you know potion lotion or weight loss and beauty products they talk i think they they're, they're more thinking in in a way of saying you know these are tangible product but there is heaven i i mean you probably have seen them but personally i haven't seen any company that actually giving you a chance to actually test the the application test the platform you get to use it and love it and then you have a chance to actually own it right without you putting your work your money out and to build that product you get to own that and you actually be able to resell it and become an affiliate and receiving the commission i haven't seen it michael i mean uh, other other platform or other 
company, I see that the only way, for example, the platform that we are using or the platform that we used previously, um, it, it may be the things where we can become a, um, I don't know, the shareholder. But on this particular and on passive, we actually own to uh, own this product, O-Connect. We actually love it and we actually have a chance to become an affiliate to resell the product to earn that commission. I haven't seen that, Michael. No, but the, to me, the, the, the great thing about it, Julie, is that you're going to have millions of people that will purchase the product re regardless of anything else, like just for the product. They're going to purchase it just because they want to use it. For example, people will use Zoom, um, but they're not an affiliate of Zoom. They're not using Zoom to resell Zoom or nothing like that. They just use it because that's what they choose to use, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so you're going to have millions of people will come and they will use on passives or connect, right? Just because it's a great product, just because it's a product that's delivering value to them, just because it is something that they can see that they can use and receive the benefits from using it, right? So that's where um, the success lies in on passive is that the products in that actually uh, come, the products in that are being delivered, right? People will use it just for that. Um, and, and that's how you win because it can't be just about money, it can't be just about okay, come, you can make some money, come, you can make some money, come. Yeah, there'll be those affiliates. Absolutely, there will be, right? And, and they will make money. There's no doubt about that, right? But the value though, how you, how you create that money is by having a product and products that people will like, people will love, people want to use over and over and over and over again, right? That's how you win. You know, people are buying, uh, you know, a new iPhone, right? iPhone 15. They already have an iPhone 14 in their pocket. <laughs> you understand? Right. So you have people who come to love, you know, that particular product. And so they will always buy the latest one that comes out, even though what they have is is good enough, you know, uh, for what they want to use. But they want to have the latest. Right. And so it's the same thing um, with on passive is that you're going to have people coming just because they want the product. People will fall in love with what this company is all about. Right. You can have people come just want to support. Right. But most importantly, though, is the ones that are purchasing the products, uh, Julie, uh, because we have to deliver value to the marketplace. And that's exactly what OnPassive is doing. Right. Absolutely. And going back to Catmo, we all know everybody needed it to have a complete system, digital system. Everybody know, know that because we all experience one way or the other when we want to do something we got to have to go to a different platform, different application in order to complete the tasks that we wanted to do. And everybody in the world love to have the automation part of it, right? And if you're owning a business or if you are doing something that you need the viewer, you need the customer, you need that traffic, that targeted traffic to come coming in. And if you have the complete system automatically, um, you know, um, using AI to actually delivering that targeted traffic, then you'll be able to make that money and be able to have that product that you always love. And so um, Catmo, it's really fit into what we're talking about today also, get ready, get set. And and when, you, when you're talking about get ready, get set, you, you can't just get ready and then you stop, you move into get set. All of these are actually going together continually going together and especially in on passive we have many products not just one many products and the get ready get set always continue to move alongside with each other so sure. well when when you know a race uh, you, you line up for the 100 meter race at the olympics you know and so the starter is going to tell you you know uh, runners take your mark right so get ready right they're going to tell you to get set right? And then the gun goes off telling you to go, right? So it's one continuous. It's not get ready, you know, and then the starter just goes away and just forget all about, no, it's a continuous process, right? And, and that's what we have here in this company. The company has not taken any time off. Even though we went through two years of COVID, the company didn't take any time off. They continued to work as best as possible, uh, even within that particular environment, right? And so here we are uh, that the company continues to work, right? A lot is still going on, Julie, right? There's a lot is going on in this company, right? And for those who are paying attention, they can see it, right? The information is there. 
uh, you know, for them to, to, to take a look at, right? Because Unpassive is taking people somewhere. Unpassive came out saying that, you know what? We can uplift humanity. We can be that beacon of hope for so many people around the world, right? The company has stated this and they're true to their word, right? Because we can see, like I said, all the pieces coming together, Julie, right? Well, we can see that, yes, we have something that is special, right? It's not, we don't have something that's a, oh, it's a me too company or me too product or me. There's nothing me too about Unpassive, right? Unpassive is revolutionary, right? Unpassive is a game changer, right? Unpassive is doing things in a much different way than the norm, right? There's so much corrupt. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're into the news, right, you see all these different companies you know, that, oh, this one is being sued for this and this one's being sued for that and, and all these different violations and, you know what I mean, all this corruption that you see, right? When I take a look at on passive, I don't see any of that, Julie, right? What I see is a company that, that wants to make a difference and will make a difference, right? That's what I see and that's what the world needs. That's what we need. You know, people need someone to step up and say, you know what, there is a better way to get things done, right? We can provide better products than what's out there in the marketplace. And we, I was just uh, watching just before we came on here, Julius, was watching something, and the guy said he was, you know, was all dressed up in a nice tuxedo, and he was off to a uh, luncheon, you know. And, uh, and so he said, so the guy's like, no, well, where are you going? He says, yeah, off to get a, a $5 chicken, right, that costs $50,000 a plate. You understand, <laughs> right? And, and, and that is so true. That's, that's the world, right? The chicken only costs five bucks, you know what I mean? But they're selling it, selling it to the people for fifty thousand dollars, right? And, and and that's how life is, right? You go buy uh, a bunch of grapes, you know what I mean? And they don't cost ten ten to fifteen dollars, but they're selling it for ten to fifteen dollars at the supermarket, Julie. Just a bunch, right? You, you understand? That's what happens. You know, you look at the the real estate market, right? It's the same thing. Okay, here's this home that okay, but I I knew when that home was only going for um, you know seven hundred thousand dollars. Today it's being sold for five million. Well, what's the difference? What has changed in the home? It's the same home. It didn't get up and go somewhere else, right? It's still in the same location. You know what I mean? That's what happens in society, Julie. People want to just um, you know gouge you because if someone is willing to pay for it, <clears throat> then hey, you, you know what I mean. And that's what happens. People are willing to spend that $5 million for that home, Julie. That should really only cost $700,000, right? That's right. People are willing to pay $15 for a bunch of grapes when it should only cost like $3. You, you know what I mean? Right? And the sad thing about it is that the people them who actually did the work, they're not the one that's being compensated. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right? And so that's what we see out there with products, right? But on passive says, no, we want to deliver products that's going to actually have real value to it. We're not here focusing on revenue, you know, whether let's go make a gazillion dollars. No, let's deliver value to the public and we'll be well taken care of, right? Because that usually happens, right? If you're doing the right thing, good thing normally happens to you, right? And that's what OnPassive has stated and that's what they stand by and that's exactly what is being done, Julie. Absolutely. And we're so thankful I'm blessed to be here as part of Unpassive and have the opportunity to experience, to see the different, uh, to the, see the, the, the difference and also to see the development of Unpassive where we get a chance to actually learn ahead of time of the products that's coming out. Um, at the end of the day, all roads lead to Rome, right? All the roads, all the path, all the activities that we are doing leading to into on passive and and to me it's what, what everything that we are doing today it's leading uh, us into that on passive ecosystem which is really huge right so all the activities everything that we do so get ready get set all the work that's been done and it's ready for us are we ready yeah, right? Are we ready for it? You know, Mr. Ash Mufara said uh, a while back, um, uh, the success road is always under construction. But mm -hmm. are we doing the construction ourselves? Mm -hmm. Or on passive team and everyone's doing it behind the scene for us? 
Julie, there's there's no, no better feeling when it comes to making money than to be able to make money while you sleep, right? It's beautiful. Um, you know, and so, you know, you're in bed, you're sleeping, getting a good night's rest. You know, you wake up in the morning, okay, yeah, I made some bucks, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? You're out on the beach somewhere and then you come back, you check your computer or whatever. It's, oh, I made some money, right? That's a good thing, right? As opposed to, oh, I just came back in from a hard day's work. You know, I just uh, spent eight hours at the job, spent another hour and a half to drive through traffic to get back home. I come home, I'm exhausted, right? And how much money did you make that day? Right, very little, right? Compared to the time that you expended, right? And so, you know, working on the internet, it's a, it's a much better way, right? Being able to work from home is a much better way. Being able to have your own business is a much better way, right? So on passive, it's putting us uh, in that position, Julie, to be able to take full advantage of all of that, right? To be able to be in a situation that, yes, you can be on the beach. Yes, you can, um, you know, uh, be sleeping, right? And work is still being done because artificial intelligence, technology, right? It can work 365 days a year. It can work 24 hours a day, right? Without your input. Once you've set it up, once you've put it all together, it can work on its own, absolutely. Right? Why not? Right? From time to time, you you may have to do some things by you know pointing things in the right direction. For example, okay, I need some more traffic to go towards my uh, business. Okay, so I need to go pay for the traffic. I need to direct the traffic where it's supposed to go. Then I walk away from it. Right? That's simple. Any and everyone can do that, Julie. Right? Mm -hmm. But what people cannot do is actually put the pieces together. Right? They don't know where to find the traffic. They don't know which traffic source is better than this one or good or which one is bad. They don't know any of that. They don't know how to create the technology. Can't design it, can't implement it, can't do any of that, right? Can't let them talk to each other, right? They can't connect it. You know, we always talk about being interconnected. Well, people, if you can't connect things, how can they be interconnected? You mm -hmm. understand? So the company is doing all of that. That's what we talk about the heavy lifting. We don't have the ability to go ahead and create these products, right? When was the last time you created a video conferencing platform? Mm -hmm. Right. When was the last time you did that? Right. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Or, or you know, are you an email provider? Like, can you actually create an email uh, technology software that can send out? You know what I mean? When was the last time you did that? Right. And for ninety nine percent of us, the answer is never. Right. And so on. All the different pieces that we need. Right. Because it's not just one thing. It's not just two things. It's not just three things. Right. When was the last time you created your own, um, you know, data center? Right. When was the last time you did that? You know what I mean? It costs money, uh, Julie. Right. So all these things that we're talking about, all these things are being put together so that we get into ready mode. All these things are being put together so that we get into set mode. And then the last piece of that is the go mode. Right. And I know everyone is looking forward to the go mode, Julie, but you have to have ready and set before you get to the goal mode. That's why we're not talking about goal mode today. We're talking about ready and set because when all of that is, is, is um, ready to go, Julie, when all of that is set to go, Julie, then you can take out the ready and set and just focus on go. And that part is coming. That part is coming. But you know what, Michael, all of the things that you have been saying right now, how important is it for us to do it right, right? How is it important for us to do it right from the very beginning, right? And that's what I see in Unpassive. Unpassive is doing it right. It's important because the way it is so big, Unpassive is a global business and you have to line up everything. Everything has to do it right. And doing it right doesn't take, you know, a few hours, few days, doing right, take times, getting approval. How important is it? You want to talk about it? Well, why why would you want to have um, you know a whole bunch of recalls, <laughs> right? <laughs> disaster. I mean? That would be disaster. There, there we, we've seen you know so many situations, uh, whether whether it's car companies, um, food companies. You, you know what I mean? Uh, they put products out there. Uh, the pharmaceuticals. Right. They put products out there um, and they have to recall this and recall that. And, you know, because there's problems, there's issues. Right. Um, you know, on says, you know what, we can take the time.
to get it done right. So when we put it out there and people are using our products, right, it's nothing but happy feeling, right? Let's create some joy, right? People need some joy in their lives. And you'd be surprised, uh, you know, what gives people joy. It could be a, a simple game that they're playing and they get so much joy from it because there's so much stress around people, right? So uh, all of a sudden now, right now, for example, we have people going on O-Connect and they're so excited about being on O-Connect, playing with all the bells and whistles and all of that, right? Um, it, that's giving them joy, right? Which is a good thing to have in your life. It's good for your health, okay? Um, you know, so, you know, that's one of the things with on passive is that let's take the time, let's put things together the right way. Let's make sure when we say, open up the door, go, 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 uh, that things are being done uh, and being perceived and received by the public, you know, um, in the best possible way, right? That's what we want. We want to hear nothing but compliments coming back saying, oh, wow, you know, such a great job, you know, oh, wow, I, I really enjoyed using that product. You know, I, I enjoyed it so much that I want to share it with others. Can I do that? Right? Absolutely, you can. You, you understand? Um, so it is important to take your time and get it uh, done right, especially when you talk about technology. And technology is always changing. That's why um, the road to success is always on a construction. When you're dealing with technology, right? It's always changing, and we want to always, always be at the forefront, uh, Julie. Not you know lagging behind, but at the forefront of of, of um, the market, right? And that's exactly what the company is doing: is making sure that we are providing the latest uh, AI uh, technology uh, within our system and within all our products, right? Because that's important. Making sure um, you know uh, privacy is is being taken care of, you know, not uh, you know putting people's uh, data, their information. Uh, in a compromising position, you, you know what I mean? So all these things are being taken care of, Julie. Everything's being done the right way because that's how unpassive do it. If you're doing something with love, you're gonna make sure that whatever you're doing is not gonna hurt anyone because love doesn't hurt, right? Um, and, and that's what unpassive is all about, right? Giving people uh, what they want, what they need and giving it to them in the right way. That's right. Um, we always talk about, you know, AI with heart. We, we always talk about the things that on passive is doing, creating with um, humanity in mind. Uh, could you talk a little bit more about what does that mean? I mean, if someone was to listen to, I mean, seeing, you know, out there in the world right now, when everyone is talking about AI, they tend to stay away from it, being scared of it. But here we are talking about on passive with heart, um, you know, to all of us, uh, the P, the early birds and the user, the current user already experience AI with heart. But to other people, they might not understand what does that mean by AI with heart? Michael, do you want to talk about that? Sure. Well, uh, again, um, everything can be used for good or bad. Right. There, there's no doubt about it. Right. Um, I think I gave the example about using a knife <laughs> before, right? So I can use a knife to cut my food, right? Or I can use the knife to harm someone, right? It can be used for good. It can be used for bad, right? Um, you know, and so, you know, that doesn't, the same goes for, for artificial intelligence, AI, same goes for it, right? People can use AI for bad. People can use AI to, you know, pretend that, you know, their voice is someone else's and you know what I mean? Uh, so there's bad things that some people, because you're not going to, you're not going to avoid that. You're not going to get rid of that. You're always going to have evil. You're always going to have some bad folks. You know, it is what it is. Okay. Um, uh, but of course, on passive is making sure that what we're doing, right, is about love. It's about, um, you know, security. It's about protection. Uh, is about uh, using the artificial intelligence to deliver products that's going to benefit and reward people, um, right? Uh, that's what we're talking about um, when we say AI uh, with the heart or AI with love. Um, that's what we're talking about, meaning that we're using it for good. We're using it to, to the betterment of society, right? We want to bless people, right? We want to uplift people, right? We want to be uh, that hope for a positive change for people. And we can use this technology because this is where all the, uh, you know, the next uh, millionaires, multimillionaires, billionaires, even trillionaires, 
uh, will come from, uh, Julie, is in the AI space. Okay, but how will you use it though? Right. And so, as I said before, on passive is not focused on money. It's not focused on generating revenue for itself. Right. It, that will be a byproduct. You know, the company's going to make money. We're not saying the company's not here to make any money at all. No, we're saying it's not a focal point though. Right. Because I can make money without focusing on making money. Right. I can charge people for my service, um, but that's not the focal point. I want to make sure I deliver the best possible service. And in return, I'm going to be rewarded because people appreciate my work. So therefore, um, they're going to pay me for my, my service. You understand? Right? right. So it's the same thing with AI that, yes, you know, what we're putting out there, what on passive is putting out there, what the company is putting out there. Right. It's going to be artificial intelligence in a positive way. Right. Um, whereby humanity will benefit uh, from uh, what the company will be doing. Right. Without harming people. Right. And, and, and so that's what we're talking about. On passive is not here to harm anyone in any shape or form. OK, uh, we, we will always uh, practice our love. We'll always make sure, um, you know, that people will win with on passive. People will succeed with on passive. People will benefit with on passive. People will be rewarded with on passive. That's what on passive is about. And so that goes uh, from behind the scenes to what people will see in the public. Absolutely. Um, you know, Michael, last week we talked about values uh, of on passive and uh, toward the end of our conversation, um, I did a, you know, a, an assignment or giving our, our viewers homework uh, to literally write down what is it about on passive that we see the values in on passive and what is it from ourselves? having that values to give to the world, to give it to the people that we see in the world. And then today we're talking about get ready, get set. So how do we, what can we suggest our viewers? How can you get ready? How can you get set now that you have a chance to experience on passive, seeing the developing of on passive, how do people get ready, get set? and be prepared for the go coming well again first and foremost um you know for those who are already in on passive uh i would hope that they are they are ready i, I would hope that they've you know done whatever is needed to make sure you know the account is activated um you know they can access their accounts you know all, all of that that they're paying attention they're reading the updates um you know they're in tuned uh with what's going on um, and then it's more, uh, after that, it's more of a mindset, right? It, it's, it's, you know, having the right frame of mind, uh, knowing that, you know, when, you're, when your table is taken care of, you know, uh, when you've had your fill, you know, what will you do, um, you know, with the excess that you will have, right? You know, you know what are some of the things that you'd like to accomplish? Um, you know, have your dreams ready, right? You know, um, what is it? that would make you tick what would you know what is it going to be that's going to get you excited to get up in the mornings you know what is that right and and so that usually stems from something that you're passionate about right um and so you know like if i knew that we we're having a on passive webinar you know at, at six o'clock in the morning uh well i'm gonna go to bed with a smile on my face i'm gonna be all excited waiting to have that uh you know webinar right because it's something that i look forward to right um, you know, and, and, and so on. So people just need to put themselves in the right frame of mind um, to be able to, um, you know, appreciate everything that's coming their way. You know, for those who are not in on passive, they can simply get ready by just creating a free account, you know, uh, get an uh, ecosystem account, um, you know, again, because it doesn't cost you anything, it's free, right? And so that way you can play around with the products that are already there, right? Uh, the three uh, free products. Um, and then the fourth uh, product, uh, you can. There's a 14-day trial that you can again get on there, play with it, see what that's all about as well. Um, you know, so that's all people uh, really need to do at this stage, uh, Julie. Just stay tuned, stay plugged in, uh, make sure you know what is going on. Uh, there's so many webinars that happen on a daily basis. Uh, so if you log in, um, you know, you'll be able to see when those are and decide which ones that you want to um, attend. You know, uh, written recaps are available for people to, you know, um, be able to read in case they miss a live one. Um, you know, with there's various lives uh, such as this one, 
uh, that goes on. Some people are doing it every day. Um, you know, so people can just be in tune, just stay plugged in so you know what's going on in on passive because it's your business, right? It is your business. And ultimately, uh, you're responsible for your success um, by knowing what's going on, knowing the latest. Um, just stay tuned because, folks, uh, when it's go time, <laughs> people are going to be running, right? And so, you know, when you have a stampede, like you don't want to be the one going in the wrong direction. <laughs> Okay, you know, when there's a stampede going, you don't want to be going, you know, against the grain, you don't want to be going against that stampede, you want to be going with it, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, just just do all that, and you're good to go. Right? On passive is a simple business for everyone everywhere. Doesn't matter if you're 18 years old, doesn't matter if you're 85 years old, right? It is something that is going to deliver, and people will benefit from it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well said, Michael. Get ready, get set, so we can go. Right? Um, mm -hmm. Anything else you like to add to this topic? I I, I love that we are bringing it all together. Um, and it, and you know, before you say your last, um, Michael, if people wants to know more about the values of Unpassive, how does Unpassive work? Um, there is a playlist in this channel. If you're watching on, on YouTube, there's a playlist about the discussion between uh, Michael and I. Um, you could watch. There's a lot of topic on there, over 50 of them that you can actually watch. And uh, and also, I believe that what we're doing right now is kind of giving people some of the idea that they can take uh, for their business as well. And so uh, we're glad that you are here, but we do hope that you receive some values from what you're watching now. So any last uh, words, yeah. last points, Michael? Yeah, again, you know, um, there's so much information that's out there uh, on, on, on Passive's um, social media channels, right? You know, the YouTube channel, uh, Facebook, et cetera, right? Again, the corporate blog, right? Going to the, uh, the corporate website, there's lots of information there uh, on the site itself, right? Um, helping you understand uh, more about the company. Um, by going to the blog, it's great information about artificial intelligence and, and all of that, right? So there's lots of great information there. So people have no excuse, uh, Julie, not being in tuned uh, with what's going on because there's just so much all around. If you just open your eyes and look, right, uh, it's all there for you. Um, you know, just get ready, folks. Just get ready. Uh, be in ready mode um, because, you know, when it comes, it, you know, it's going to come uh, fast, was it fast and furious, right? In a good way. So, um, you know, on passive is a blessing, you know, we're, we're going to bless so many people around the world. Uh, and I'm grateful, uh, Julie, to be a part of this. Uh, there just isn't any, uh, where else that I'd rather be, um, especially at this stage of my life. Um, this is the perfect business for me. And it's the perfect business, you know, um, it, it, it will give the time, right? and the financial freedom that is needed to be able to do all the good that you want to do around the world. Um, so it's a perfect business, right? Minimal uh, time involved, but yet maximum return involved. So, um, you know, that, that's how I would have it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, so I'm so grateful to be a part of on Passive with Mr. Ash Mafara and all the team and everyone else and all you wonderful founders, early bird, um, you know, adapters of this great company. Um, you know, we're going to do something great, something that's never been done around this world. Um, so I look forward to all of that. Well said. Thank you, Michael. Uh, just a reminder, everyone, if you are looking at the information that Michael and I have just mentioned, um, you got to subscribe to it. And I guarantee with you the Unpassive uh, LinkedIn, uh, Unpassive um, X, Twitter, for, for, formerly known as Twitter, uh, Instagram, YouTube channel, lots of information coming out daily, two, three times, uh, and absolutely the, the the blog. So if you haven't done so, uh, please subscribe to those channels, follow, um, and invite people. In, in, in LinkedIn, you have the ability to actually invite your friends and family to follow on Passive because all the information that comes out every single day are so valuable. I mean, my phone, bing, bing, not notification, uh, and every every single piece of that information, they're very valuable. So get ready, get set, everyone, so we can go. Take care, everyone. Thank you, Michael. Thank you all for being here. Have a great Monday. See you next week. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. And remember, now. yes, and remember on Passive 360 is at 6 a.m. on Wednesday, 6 a.m. Eastern time. So um, make sure you plug in. Take care, everyone. <laughs>